A lot of people don't know you can actually install custom fonts onto iOS. The app that I've been using is called AnyFont. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here on my iPad. And right away you'll see there's actually a bunch of fonts right here, and you won't have this right away. You'll see three tabs down at the bottom, install own fonts, bundled fonts, and already installed fonts. So the bundled fonts tab that I'm on right now is actually an in-app purchase. If you don't want to go and download custom fonts because you're not sure where a good place to download fonts is, or you're not sure if it's safe or legal, you can actually just purchase a 99 cent in-app purchase, and it'll install a ton of fonts. They're absolutely just a crazy amount of fonts in here and they're all very good fonts. I've been very impressed with the quality of them and for 99 cents you can't really beat that. But I did say you can install custom fonts so if there is a very specific font you want let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over here to the install own fonts tab. So a couple of things that the fonts has to be. So the font has to be a .ttf file or .ttc or .otc. Those are the only three font styles iOS supports. So if there are anything other than that, you'll have to get it converted. Uh, first off, before we go any place, I want to show you guys this. So there's this fontbundles.net banner up here. We can go ahead and hit that. This is actually a really good site, and I've used them before to get fonts that are really high quality, fonts that you pay for. And why you would want to pay for a font as supposed to go to a free site is if you're using it commercially, you have to pay for it. You have to have the rights to it. Typically, free font sites don't give you the rights to use them commercially, just personally. So that's something to keep in mind when you are doing this. So if you are looking for something very specific and very high quality, I do recommend checking this out. But we're going to go ahead and install uh, uh, something from a free font site right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Safari. And here you'll see a website called Font Squirrel. And what Font Squirrel is, is it's 100% free for commercial use. So if you are looking for a free font that you want to use commercially, this is a good place to check out. They're not the highest quality fonts, um, but they work, especially if this is something that you're looking for. So right, you'll remember what I said earlier is that the font has to be .ttf, .ttc, or .otc. And on this site, you're going to see a lot of OTF. Now, those are not supported, so we can't use those. But the .ttf ones, we can. So this one right here that says Open Sans, it says download.ttf with that blue banner is. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. So this is the download screen. After you use it, you'll probably start to see this open in any font. You could just tap that and it opens straight into the app. What will happen for the first time though is you probably won't get that. You'll have to hit this more button, scroll all the way over till you get to copy to any font, tap that. And here you go. Here's a list of all the fonts that we have. So these are all the open sans fonts. They're the bold, italicized, extra bold, all the great stuff. We're gonna hit this check mark up here and select all the fonts we want to install. Then we're gonna hit it where it says install 10, and I'm gonna call this Open Sans. Hit okay. Now we're gonna tap the icon, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna to wanna to install an, a configuration profile. If you've ever installed a iOS beta or anything like that, you'll be pretty familiar with this. So we have this install profile right here. We're just gonna hit install. It's going to install. It's going to ask, this is the configuration profile for multiple fonts. We're going to hit next, install, install profile, done. And that's it. So we're going to close out of this, go back to any font. So now if we go to already installed fonts and we go to the O's, and there you'll see Open Sans. So the font's installed, ready to be used in any application that supports this, uh, which is pretty much most of them, unless they have very specific fonts that they allow you to use. But things like, um, here we can go to Pages, type Test, change the font, Open Sans. You can hit this I button right over here on the side and it'll show you all the styles of the font that are installed. Bold, italicized, extra bold, regular. Pretty standard for most fonts. So that's pretty much it for how to install fonts. Just keep in mind if you're you know, using these for commercial use, make sure you have the rights to use that font for commercial use. If you're using it for personal, have at it. Um, a really nice feature that um, that's still in any fonts is you can go to this third tab, the already installed fonts, and it'll show you all the fonts that are installed that you can currently use, profiles ready to go, or from the in-app purchase, so they're all right here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.